Clarion is the new development related with monofocal intraocular lenses uh, for alcohol. And they introduce a new material uh, with a small change related with the design of the boards. With Clarion, the manufacturing process has changed and also the material with a small change related with uh, the old one. But this so that a slit lamp is possible to see, to see the differences. Now the material is pristine and looks different. Uh, Acrisoft offers us excellent stability related with the stable force design of the optics in order to allow uh, perfect centration over time um, without movements in the anterior posterior axis in order to maintain the refractive stability of the lens on time. The, the border was related with Claire and some positive dysphotopsias. With these changes, this kind of problems are avoided or at least limited. And then the posterior border is also changed in order to decrease the percentage of capsular opacification in the postoperative period. Uh, it's similar, but a little bit different. The material is a little bit more softer and the implantation uh, could be easier through small incisions. I implanted the first Clarion last July. At the slit lamp is uh, pristine, transparent, uh, with excellent behavior uh, in the first postoperative uh, few months. The preclinical studies show that the intraocular lens maintains its stability and its transparency uh, during the follow up period of time. Clarion is a modification of Acrisoft related with two or three things. Firstly, related with the material with small changes, but in order to avoid the presence of uh, glistening or the things that happened in the past. Uh, it's related with the material and also related with the manufacturing process. Secondly, related with some small changes related with the age in order to uh, avoid the glare and positive dysphotopsias and thirdly related with the square border in order to avoid the capsular opacification. Autonomy is the first automatic preloaded system for intraocular lenses. It works in a different way. If we compare with the, their competitors, uh, the gas is liberated into the device and opens the possibility to, for the advancement of the intraocular lens. And then the intraocular lens is well positioned in the position for the implantation in the, into the eye. With the old system, with the other preloaded system, you have to work with some of them with one hand and in others with two. It depends on the, the glide system. No? With autonomy, yes, you have to pressure one button with one finger and the gas is liberated. And then you push again the same button and the intraocular lens is implanted into the eye. It's very easy to use just with one hand and without manipulation of the device, just pushing one button with one finger. Autonomy saves time, uh, especially related with the preparation of the lens and then also with the implantation. But uh, I, with the first experience, experiences that I have had with this device, it's possible to decrease the preparation time at least in the half. Yeah, the tip is one evolution of the tip developed for UltraCert. The dead guard that offered the possibility to uh, introduce the, um, the tip just into the incision, but not uh, go into the eye. 
In this way, the incision is perfectly maintained, as we have demonstrated in uh, some trials. And the widening of the incision is lower than 0.1 millimeters. And it's possible to implant the intraocular lens through real 2.2 millimeter incisions.